Hi, Jamie here from Poodle Press. Here's a look at some of the highlights of our WooBuilder Blocks plugin. This lets you customize the WooCommerce product page using the Gutenberg Block Editor, so you can create any layout you like with it. You can also create templates and apply those templates to multiple products. So here's just a few examples I've got to show you of what you, what's possible. I'm just going to flick through these just to give you a sense of some of the things that you can create using WooBuilder Blocks. So it's incredibly powerful because you can create any layout you like. So you can add more content, you can add more elements, you can really tell the story of your products, you can create landing pages of your products. Uh, so it's really, really powerful if you want to really show off your products. The WooCommerce product page is one of the most important pages on your site, and so having complete control over it, over it is going to be massively beneficial to you. So that's a few examples. Next up, I'm going to show you how it works. Right, next up I want to show you how you can use WooBuilder Blocks to change the layout of this page to any layout you like. And we're going to go from something like this, which is the standard WooCommerce layout, to something that really shows off your product in a much more visually attractive way. The whole idea behind this is that you're going to sell more products. So you can see here, this, this is really showing off this product image in the most beautiful way that we can. Uh, and it's very simple to do. So let me just show you how it works. So I'm going to I'm going to transform this one into something more exciting. So I'm going to click on Edit Product, and you'll see that at the moment this is just a normal WooCommerce product. I've just entered my product details. But you'll see over on the right here, I have this new button. This is the plugin WooBuilder Blocks that says Enable WooBuilder Blocks. You just click on that, and now you have three choices. You can build your product layout from scratch. You can choose one of the pre uh, pre-built templates that we we supply or you can use one of your own templates. I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm basically going to build this product completely from scratch. And when you click on that, you'll see it actually loads in, in the Gutenberg block editor. So now we have 100% control to lay out this product in any way you like. So this is fantastic. We can do anything. So let me just show you how this works. Now, we have built a whole bunch of blocks that let you reconstruct your WooCommerce product page. There are, and there are many blocks in here that you would expect to see, like your product title, your price, your short description, the add to cart button, um, star ratings, all those blocks are in here. But we have also added some extra blocks that are going to really help you drive conversions, like the WooBuilder stock countdown block. That shows a really great visual representation that there is reduced stock, there is limited stock. There is also a sales countdown block in here that you could, that really drives your customers to let them know that there is a sale on that is ending soon. But let me just let me just build this product page very quickly so you can see how it works. So I'm going to start by adding a product image at the top, which is going to load that beautiful product image for me. Then under here, I'm going to start to lay out the, the other sections of my page. Now, one of the other great things about WooBuilder Blocks is that you can use any third party blocks within here. So let's say I wanted to create some columns in here. Well, let's do that. I can just use the, the Gutenberg column block. This is just the standard column block that comes with Gutenberg, and I can really start to be very uh, precise about the layout. Now, within this left-hand block, I'm going to add some further blocks, uh, which is going to be my product price, sorry, my product title block. Let's add that one in. Now, within each block that you add, you can also customize it. So you'll see over on the right here for this product title block, I can increase the font size if I want to, or I could change the font or I could change the alignment or the text color. So you've got real fantastic control. All right, let's just add a few more blocks under here. So under here, I want to add the price. And again, I could customize the size of that if I wanted to. Then I'm also gonna add the short description. And then under the short description, I'm actually gonna add uh, the stock countdown block. That's gonna tell our customers there's only four items left in stock. And then finally, to finish off, I obviously want to add the add to cart block. Now, if you are using a variable product, the app, just by adding the add to cart block will bring in those variations as well. And there we go. Now, I've worked really quickly, but you could obviously take much more time and add much more content and lay out this page in any way you like. But I'm pretty happy with that. Let's update it. And now let's go and view the product. And there we go. There's my, there's my uh, new Wizzy product. Uh, looking fantastic, uh, in, in my view, uh, fantastically better than the, the normal WooCommerce layout. Right, next up, I'm going to show you how you can create templates out of these and apply those templates to multiple products. Right, to finish off, I just want to show you how you can create templates and then apply those templates to multiple products. So you just go to, when you're creating the product layout, this is the one I just created, you will see a new option over on the right that says Save as Template. You click on that, and this is where you can save this as a template. So let's call it um, let's call it full 
width image template. Give it a name that you can recognize. And that, that saves that as a template. And then over on the right here, under pro, sorry, on the left, under products, you'll see all templates. You click onto that, and this is where you, you basically apply that template to whatever category you want. So whatever category you choose here, I'm, I'm choosing men and women, any products that now are being categorized that are automatically going to pick on that template. So here's one uh, it's categorized as women. If I click on view here, that should automatically pick up that template. So it's not using the normal template, it's using the template that I just created. So it's, it's a really great way that you can apply that to multiple temp, um, products using templates. So that's it, that's WooBuilder Blocks. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, there's a free trial, so do take it for a spin. And if you've got any questions, please get in touch. Thanks very much.